Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Today is Tarot Day. Okay. You know, people have asked me as a psychic medium, why do I use tarot cards, ruin stones and other tools to get the answers? The reason why I do it is because it's about you. You're sitting at home. I could virtually say anything I wanted. Let's be honest here, okay? I get my messages from her, but you don't know if it's true. You don't know if I'm really hearing these. You don't know if it's um, confirm confirmations about the future, correct? So you want definitive proof today. And that's why I use tarot cards, especially as the beautiful cards by Louise Benton. So there's her card if you do want to go over today and have a look at her um, products that she offers for sale. Okay, the link is below in the description if you do want to go over and have a look at Louise's stuff. So why do I use tarot cards, etc.? Because it's your confirmation of what I'm saying for the next week. And now, you know, I've been doing my tarot now for a couple of weeks and what I find is I'm getting all these emails or Facebook messages from people where they say, oh, I didn't believe your cards, but three days later, boom, here's some information that confirms what happened. Because remember, my tarot cards at the readings that I do, they're always for the next week, okay? So just this week, I've just gotten off the phone with my fourth confirmation where they're saying last week's tarot is coming true. You know, I spoke about last week, I know that they had the Hierophant card, which is the Pope, which represents someone's coming out and they're going to start making people aware of what's going on around the planet. It doesn't mean just one person, TRMP. <coughs> per se because a people a couple of people have asked me is that who it is and I said to them it doesn't represent just one person it could be a hundred thousand people all taking on that persona of that representation of the card okay and that is what has happened so last week's tarot how amazing was that wait until you see the cards I got for today oh my god crazy is going crazy you guys so let's have a look so today I've already pulled the card from Louise Benton's pack here it is um, not the, not the specific card okay this is her her cards that I've used I've already got my little lovey-dovey card sitting here on the table look at him he's so cute little love dove okay wait until you see what it says and I've already got my tarot card. These are my cards that I use, okay? So, I've already got them in line from the Lovey Dovey to Louise Benton's to my tarot. Because that's the way that she asked me to do them this morning. So now I just need a, a ruin stone as well. So what I do, um, I like doing this one on because um, with you guys on the video because, hello, it's nice and easy and I may not be sitting there for 10 minutes waiting for a card. So I put out the intention of what I want as a message. And the message today is what does the world need to hear for the next seven days? What do we need? What is it that we may be doing that we need some sort of confirmation that we're on the right path? Or is it something that we need to change and start doing? Okay, so I'm reaching in. Oh my God, there's a real hot one in my stone. It's, no, it's you. What are you? Oh, interesting one. You know, all the cards today are different than I've had in the past. And this one's like a little N. So I'm just going to go into my ruin book and confirm that I've actually got the right one before I start talking about all this. Because I know that there's a few that look like an N. There it is. It's that one, isn't it? Uh, I'm just going through to make sure that I've got all... Yes, it is that one there. Oh, isn't this an interesting one? Okay. So, let's start today's tarot. The first card I pulled is the lovey-dovey card. Love 
protects the young from harm. You know, I've got to be careful with the algorithms so I don't get any community strikes. But look why everybody's now protesting. Look why everyone's now going to these marches all around the world. You know, it is amazing to watch what is happening when people stand up. You know, not only have we got Canada, we've now got the US coming on, we've got um, Australia. Don't listen to the news because they said only a few thousand were there, but it was like 800,000 people in Australia. We only have a 25,000, um, 25 million population, so do the math there. It's like one in 25 are standing up against what's going on. And one of the reasons why people are standing up is to protect the children. So isn't that ironic? Love, which is the universe, which is God, protects the young from harm. Let's breathe a minute because, you know, there's a lot of very, very traumatic reports that we're hearing on the news now about children being forced to do something against their wishes. Um, but we have to show compassion and mercy to these people. Mercy is the big word. You know, parents only do the, what they feel is right for their children. They don't know everything about this um, certain thing in the arm because nobody does, okay? They only, they're trusting the government, which we want to trust the government's correct. But now people are starting to wake up and say, we can't do this anymore. It's T-Y-R-R-A-N-Y. Which leads me to this next card that I got from Louise Benton. Look at the artwork that she puts on these cards. Isn't this amazing? Okay. This is called the Witness Card. And I'm just going to put it up so you can pause the screen if you do want to have a little read of it. It's the witness card. Let's read it. Life unfolding and dissolving. Shifting, changing, ever evolving. Time moves on and seasons flow. Golden sunrise, evening glow. Eternal witness to all that arises and passes away into the realm of silence. It remembering, forgetting, expanding, contracting, tumbling, falling, rising and overflowing. Empty fullness, pure consciousness, all and nothing forever begotten I am the eternal witness they see all the universe which encompasses all our ascended masters archangels and angels all the other entities that exist they see everything they are the eternal witness so they know what every person is not only thinking through our intentions, but they see their actions and they also see the consequences of those actions. For where they exist, there is no time, there is no past, there is no future. So let's just dissect this life unfolding and dissolving. Shifting, changing, ever, ever evolving. And that's correct, right? Life is always changing. Time moves on and seasons flow. Golden sunrise, golden glow, evening glow. Eternal witness. They are the eternal witness to all that arises and passes away into the realm of silence. You know, we look back in history. Our history books are so concocted. They're so distorted. They only teach us what they want us to remember. And that is what is happening now. It's like they are sweeping things under the rug so generations in the future don't remember what actually occurred. You know, the media is now saying there's 10,000 people in Canberra. It's not 10,000. 
I heard a report yesterday it was 1.4 million. But considering we only have 25 million in Australia, that's a big effort. So I'm going to downplay that and only make it 800,000 because I've seen the drone footage of the cars there. And you know, I try to add up how many cars would be there. A 40 kilometer queue of people trying to get in there. That is not 10,000 people. Okay? So they are sweeping this under the rug for what is going to be remembered. Remembering, forgetting, expanding and contracting, tumbling, falling, rising and overflowing. So it's what we remember. It's what we stand up for. So the history books write our future, or should I say our past, into their books. Empty fullness. Lies are now getting called out, guys. People are standing up and saying, we've been had. This is all true, okay? Pure consciousness. You know, I look at these people that are gathering, like in Ottawa, in Canberra, now in France, and other locations around the planet. It is a total awakening of our consciousness that is occurring. You know, I saw footage last night of people, they're turning up with blankets, they're turning up with heaps of water to give other people. They're turning up with food, not for themselves, but to give others. So now we're in a position where we are starting to learn to be more kind, generous, supportive. And the one word that really comes out at me is love. Because these people at these gatherings, they're not hostile, they're not angry. They're not beeping people to get out of their way like angry, aggressive um, road ragers. They're accepting all who are there without judgment. And this is this awakening that is occurring around the planet now where we're going back into our consciousness. Pure consciousness. All and nothing. For, forever begotten. So this is the week, guys, where we stand up and we say to ourselves, what do I want future generations to remember about this time? Because these cards are showing that there are big changes coming. It is now, for the next week, pardon me, where the governments are going to try and write the history books of the next generations. Okay? The last card that I got before I go to my ruin is the Temperance card. It is 14 in the Major Ancana. There she is. So let's go over to my tarot and read her straight from the book. Temperance represents moderation, having patience, the ability to compromise to find satisfactory solutions. So this doesn't mean we have to stand up and fight. We don't have to attack, okay? Diplomacy and cooperation. So we stand there with our truth as our shield. Wow, I think I'm going to use that this week. Use your truth as your shield. So you go out there and you balance your emotions because this is what the card says, balanced emotions. It is a card of successfully integrating opposite forces. Wow, look at what's happening. People on the left and there's governments on the right. So how many negotiations are we trying to successfully acquire here? With harmony and compatibility. So that means with love and compassion. Okay, compatibility. It suggests the perfect union. It can also represent a receptive environment for reconciliation to take place. Okay, so if we go out there and just let these people know what we know and say, hey, what's your thoughts on this? We don't have to be aggressive to people and force it down their throats. It is awareness through teaching, learning and understanding. Okay? Remember the line that's out there and it says, ignorance can no longer be a claim as not knowing what's going on because we have the internet where people can go and search this stuff out. So we can't claim ignorance anymore. If you do have any um, queries regarding what's going on, go and do some research. Get on Google and say, what's happening in Ottawa? 
what's happening in Canberra and you'll find the videos of the drone footage to show you the truth that the governments are trying to hide. So where justice presents balanced thought, temperance stands for balanced emotion. So the justice is that intention. That's our consequences, okay? Whereas temperance, the temperance card, she represents the emotions. So we don't go into negative emotions this week. Keep your love and light. Show compassion to people. Don't get angry with what they're doing. Don't get frustrated or upset with what people do against your thoughts or what, what you wouldn't do. Show them mercy and allow them to do what they want. Okay? Stand in your truth and use that truth as your sword and your shield, okay? Give them the information if they wish to receive it. And the last line of this card, always a lovely, gentle card. When it it appears in readings, the temperance angel often brings healing. Wow. So a lot of people are now angry. They feel that they've been had by the governments. They've been, well, what does that mean? It's an Australian term when someone's been had, okay? It means that you've been fooled, okay? Look how many people thought that they had to have a certain medical procedure for their job and then they were told another one and now they're getting told another one and now it looks like they have to have another one followed by one every three months. These people were had because they trusted the government originally when they said one and now they think well hang on I still can't do this I still can't do that I can't do that you said if I had that thing I'd be able to do all this stuff so they feel fooled so this is a gentle card to show compassion to these people show them that you're supporting them show them that you can teach them how to heal that pain of what they're going through Okay, so the last one that I've got here is my little ruin and I've got his book here so I'll just turn him around so you can see the ruin. He's up here, it's this one. There he is, this one here. So let's read what this guy says. This is the word that means hail. Now, Before I even tell you what it means, look at hail. It is condensed water that causes ice to form in the upper atmosphere and when it falls down, it hurts. It lands on us, it breaks out windows. Hail, hail, hail. It's pretty dangerous, isn't it? Okay, but then you think about what else hail represents. When that water melts, think about how it absorbs into the ground, giving life to the grasses, plants, bird, um, animal life, so they obtain water, okay? So not always is hail dangerous. It can be the effects that come after, like when it melts and then we're able to drink the waters, okay? But in the initial stages of hail, it can be quite dangerous as it falls, okay? So it's called the Hagalaz, Lars, Hagalaz, ruin. The ice ruin and primary ruin for de- of delay. The symbol of havoc, disruption by elements outside one's control. Some short-term pain for a long-term gain. See how I just said the hail? So it's the short-term pain when you, hit, when you get hit by hail and it hurts. But then that hail slowly melts to give sustenance to other life forms, right? Like hail i.e. destructive but melts to water to grow crops well isn't it funny i didn't even read this this ruin signals short-term disruption that results in a longer-term positive change so there must be this disruption right now look at the trucks on ottawa they've closed down the city look at what happened yesterday in tel- um, canberra where they're turning off telecommunication devices so people can't relay the truth Wow, you know, that's just two of the examples here of this destruction that's coming out. Not even to mention what happens to our children. But we must believe 
that the children will be saved here okay okay so there is a longer term positive change that is occurring and that's what the cards are saying today if we show love and we show compassion to those who believed the lies good things are coming okay we must just be patient now i heard the word patient somewhere okay patience is what we must demonstrate this week stand in your ground and don't back down and negotiate okay be peaceful peaceful and loving is what's coming this week so the second dot point out of yep so there's only um there's only two dot points the second one indicates presence of circumstances start again indicates presence of circumstances outside of your control positive or negative look to adjust oh look to the adjacent ruins for a cast of for clues okay so there are things out of our control because hello the governments around the world they're the ones who tell us what to do right so it is out of our control but if we show compassion this week and love we show that acceptance non-judgmental and most of all we show that compassion to negotiate with people things are turning around you know i was looking yesterday at canberra these are not anti jab bab 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 babs persons they're not the anti ones at all most of them have had this medical procedure they're down there because they've been had they're there because they now see because this has been going on for 2 years they see the death rates they see in the statistics of how bad this is and it's not that bad 99.99% survival rate how low you know then you look at how many people are dying from a certain medical procedure far 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 worse scenarios how many people now are getting sick and the data coming out now saying that it is actually that medical procedure that's causing it so love protects the young from harm the universe is watching us remember they are the eternal witness i love it when all these cards stick together and they're all making sense and then the hail is coming but remember the long term effects from the hailstones okay we think it's severe at this point but wait because greatness is coming so i do want to just clarify this if you do hear of something this week that is like extremely bad and we got to remember too how fast does a hailstorm come it's intense and it is immediate they don't say oh tomorrow we're expecting hail it's warning warning it's on its way it's coming down now like a tornado so if something does happen this week wherever you are on the planet just remember it's only short term because greatness is coming for those who use temperance i love it how all these cards stick together every week i hope you're having a great day guys let me know what happens over the next week hunker down stay in love and most of all stay true to who you are okay because greatness is coming talk to you all again soon bye to learn more about your holistic alignment please press the like button and click subscribe To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.